I'll come back to you, Dave. Don't hang up, though. Joseph is the first time called out of Chicago. Joseph, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Uh, yes, hello. Is this uh, the, the, the one and only uh, Jesse Lee Peterson? Welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, wow, it's uh, it's amazing to speak with you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Yes. And like you said, uh, yeah, first time caller, uh, long time listener. Um, I got a quick question for you. So I'm I'm a MGTOW guy. Um, have you ever heard of MGTOW, uh, uh, Jesse? Tell the folks what it is. Sure, sure. I okay, have so, heard so, of. So, uh, you tell the people what it is. Sure, I'm I'm happy to. Uh, MGTOW is uh, MGTOW is an acronym. It stands for uh, men going their own way. And how old uh, are you? I'm 37. And, and what does it mean, going your own way? <clears throat> uh, essentially, there's two major tenets um, that buttress MGTOW, and that is uh, the first one is you, you swear off marriage, uh, and then the second one is you, you swear off uh, cohabitation with women. So no living with women and no marrying women. Why did you make that decision? Well, frankly, uh, I come from a broken family. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was six years old, and it was very, uh, it was very traumatic. It was very unpleasant, you could say. And, uh, and I saw firsthand what it's like when, uh, when a marriage can go sideways. And, uh, you know, I, 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 saw how it, I saw how it destroyed my father, uh, both emotionally and financially. And of course, I, I want to avoid that destruction in my life. So you have decided never to get married. Yeah, yeah, and that's sort of that's sort of why I was calling in. I was wondering if you if you could chime in on that. Do you think that that's a, a good idea, uh, especially based on like our current, uh, you know, with things like um, uh, the current legal framework uh, with uh, you know VAWA, Violence Against Women Act. Uh, the the Duluth model of domestic violence. Uh, we, we we live. In, uh, I believe MGTOW believe we live in an era where men have essentially become uh, legislated into a second class status. But and what so is we, it? What is it about you that decide as an individual male to just give up? What does that feel like? Yeah. Right. I mean, that's that's that is a. You, you could you could classify it that way yeah you know so i'm 37 now i have the last time I, I dated i was 30 i was 30 and then i dated this young lady uh, until she was 31 or until i was 31 uh and then we broke up i haven't dated since uh i i have you could you could say hooked up a couple of times but what does it you know, feel I've, like to be an intervention male and 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 have given up because of a uh, tough times. What is that like uh, to be defeated? What does it feel like? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to categorize it that way, but there there is a certain sense of you know it, it's just not worth it anymore. What does that feel like to be defeated as a male? Uh, bad, negative. Uh, it, it, it elicits a negative emotion. What do you mean by that? Uh, I'd say it. Uh, there are feelings of despair. There are feelings of uh, embarrassment. There are feelings of failure. You know, uh, I, I was raised in like a, a traditional uh, Catholic home. I went to like a Catholic grammar school, Jesuit Catholic high school. So uh, I went rather to a than Jesuit Catholic university, and I was I was taught that you know you you want to seek out marriage, you want to have children, you know, white picket fence to, in the suburbs, or you know. You, and I don't see any of that happening for me now. So rather than give it up because they taught you wrong, you shouldn't seek out marriage. You shouldn't seek out anything but what is right. Seek the kingdom of God in his right way and all will be added. And if you seek out things on the outside, you will become defeated. You will be defeated because you don't have good on your side. You only have evil. And so the Catholic Church taught you wrong. And so you've hell? been you've been defeated by women, and I just don't know how men live with themselves when they give up uh, because times get rough or seem rough. Because real men become stronger through tougher times, right? Because it's those times that's making you better in life and stronger. 
And so I just, that's why I was asking you, Joseph, what does that feel like to give up and then join a group that encourages you to give up? And just, what do you guys do? Y'all shake each other's hand and feel good about being losers? Well, no, no. So I, But that's what you're doing. Point, There's no, no encouragement. No, no, no. I, I, at yeah, this point, I would loses. say that you're, mis, you're miscategorizing. We're essentially a group of men that have gone through uh, whatever, uh, false uh, false domestic violence accusations. But that's not a reason to give up. Divorce. But that's not a reason to become a loser. That's a reason to become stronger. Count it all joy wow. when you're going through tribulations. I mean, I, I, I want to agree with you, but I also think it's uh, we live in an environment. We live in... A society now where you know and, and you talk about this at length you know if if a woman gets emotional she can just pick up the phone and the police will come and and they'll arrest you, you know, Absolutely. I, I don't want to be arrested but also in those times if that should happen to you that's not a reason to give up that is a reason to grow even more so because you will learn more about yourself you will grow closer to the father within and you become the example. You would learn from it. Life is not over just because some evil woman called the cops. You would see how to deal with women need men to be strong. Children need men to be strong. God created you to be strong, not to give up and, and go join a losing group of other weak men. Well, I, I agree that God wants us to be strong. But so I, then why I would you give up like that and join a group that has given up of men? Well, because I think... Hold on, Joseph. Have... Don't hang up. Hold sure. on, okay? Sure. Okay. Sure. Let me take a quick break. So interesting. Man, stop being weak. And women, too. At some point, as an individual, you're like, you know, like, what the... What are you going to do? Live a life as a loser? And I would never join a group of men, males, that are losers, and all you do is sit around the dinner table and talk about how bad women are, so you're losers. It doesn't make sense. So I wanted to understand from Joseph being, well, how old are you, Joseph? Oh, again, I'm, I'm 37. Being 37, how do you live with yourself knowing that you have allowed women who are the weak investor to defeat you? Well, again, I would say that's uh, that's a little bit of a rough, uh, scathing uh, characterization. Uh, I okay, would say I'm, you, you, uh, I'm trying you to gave do as up, best as you, I can. You gave up on the women because of, they can call the cops, they can take your stuff, so you don't want to get married anymore, you had a hard life growing up, so you gave yes, up. Yes. Isn't, isn't that true? Yes, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you about that. Do, so do you still that, recommend men wait, getting married? Wait a minute. Isn't that true for right? Is what true? I'm sorry. You, you came from a family, parents who were screwed up? Yes, yes. Very, very dysfunctional. Think, you know. Right. Uh, you know and you dealt with yeah, women divorce. that were screwed up? Well, that's the thing. I mean, in a way, I come from a family uh, where the women, you could argue, uh, were very accomplished. Uh, you know, No such thing your... as an accomplished woman. Well, you just said in an earlier segment, the more educated, like you were talking about Pelosi, and you were also adding some commentary. You were saying, uh, you know, these women, the more education you give them, their, their egos can grow out of control. Right, but I they're not accomplished. They become evil. They become really demons of Satan. But well, well, I, I agree with you that their ego can, can, they can grow out of control. But the problem is if you add to that the growing power and influence and, and legal power that women have, it can become uh, kind of a scary recipe where the man feels afraid. You know, he's walking on eggshells. Not to one, real one men, false. not to men who have returned to the father and love was right more than anything else. There's no fear in him. He can deal with that evil that's coming through the woman because he would be guided by the father within. You wouldn't be afraid of that. You would deal with that. I see. And so... so so you, are, you are, came are, from fa parents who were screwed up. You dated a couple of women who were screwed up, right? No, no, no. Actually, no. The women, you never I would, dated? No, I would say, yes, I've dated, I've dated many women, especially and did the in my women, college days. I, I, and I did the women, the women call the cops on you? Good. And did they call the cops no, on you? Well, what no, made you join no, Mintow? 
I'm sorry? Why did you join Midtown in? Well, I, uh, I unfortunately suffered a, a false domestic uh, violence uh, accusation from my stepmother. And um, that and among other things, uh, I basically came to see that uh, right now men and women are sort of pitted against each other. And then on top of that, like, like you say, you know, women can sometimes cause they can grow a very large ego. And then on top of that, now they have uh, more political power and they have the state on their side. So basically, make tower men who are we have this idea that maybe right now we should we should wait it out. It's and so that's why you joined. Women. That's why Joseph joined a losing group of males. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> why I don't, don't, I don't you stand be... apart from that and become tougher through the situation? Why not seek the father his right way so you can see how because these women have no power, they are not strong, they are not equal to men, they are weak vessels. But if you don't, no, over, I, I agree with if that. If you don't I overcome that, them, Jeffy. if you don't overcome them, you're going to join a group of men who are losers. Well, again, what I would say to that is, I, I agree with uh, the, the what you just said. The past clause that you, women women are the weaker of the two vessels. But so this group of men, I also men. That there, there, there is a cadre of men that support this, and and they will they will throw the other men, the the good, the righteous men, the religious men under the bus. And what does that and have so, to do with you? Well, essentially, that that's what I'm saying is happening to a lot of good men in our society. They're, they're is that a reason to join a losing group of men who sit around a dinner table and complain? Well, we don't really sit around a dinner table. We, uh, we're more like an right. online community. Right. Is that a reason to join a group of men who are losers? Oh, boy. Okay, so I guess you want me to say no. So, so the answer why, did, is no. why did you join a group of losing men? That's not encouraging to you. That's not encouraging you to be strong. That's not encouraging you as an individual to overcome evil with good. It's not telling, they're not telling you, you know what? We got to do this the right way. We got to turn back to the Father. We got to guide the women. We got to change these laws. You're sitting around with a group of men who are losers. That's not going to help you. Well, I, I do agree with you that I think we should change the laws. Uh, but you should also overcome. Single... You should also overcome the weakness of women. You have not overcome your mother yet. Well, you know what? I probably would agree with you on that. I. Uh... Uh, my mother and I, we had a falling out. I haven't spoken with her in probably at this point, maybe six or seven years. Um, I, I would like to maybe someday, you know, go and see her. She moved to Denver, Colorado. Maybe go and see her and try to make amends. But what? I don't so know. It's sort of, you don't it, need to make I'm amends sorry? with her. You need to forgive her for what she's done to you so you can overcome her nature. And that way the women that you do get involved with won't be like, like your mother, you'll be able to deal with them in a perfect way. And if it's meant for you to be married, the father will add one to you. You will have a long a marriage that will last. You need to work on you, not join some losing group. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. So I, I why don't you contact to... your mother? Hey, I realize now you're wicked. You can't help it. I'm sorry for hating you for it. And God will forgive you, Joseph, and forgive your father for not protecting you from your mother. Because just as you can protect, if you got married, you would be able to protect your children from their mother. Your father had the same issue. And then you wouldn't have to go well, through that. Well, at this point, at this point, Jesse, uh, I'm so scared of the legal powers that uh, abusive women can, can hold. Uh, I'm actually thinking eventually I want to have children through surrogacy, where you go to another country, you find, you go through an agency, you know, you got to get a lawyer, you know. Joseph. And then you pay this woman money, and then, you know, you could have a child, and then, uh, you know, you have the child free and clear. You don't have to worry about uh, accusations, uh, uh, you know, uh, the silver bullet, as they say in legal circles. Uh, what a you know, sad... Child support, alimony, palimony. What a sad, poor excuse of a man. Uh, I'm telling you, it's... I, Joseph, I, that's the wrong think, way to go, man. You're not meant to be that way. That's, that's a cowardly... That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what that's I'm trying to tell you, That's a cowardly way I, out. I wanted, I wanted to get, I, listen, listen, I used to want to get married. I, the, there was a time when one of my highest goals in life was to get married and to provide for my family well, and all this. And, that's why you, sh you should never have a goal. Well. 
you should I, only I say, you you should only want to do the Father's will because you don't know what is meant for you in life. You don't know what you want in life. You don't know what you don't know anything. So your desire is to the Father's will be done to you through you. He's already laid your life out from within. Well, I don't know. Again, at 37, you know, maybe at, at 20, but, I would agree with you. But, but now you that I'm see, 37, I think I do know what I want to do. And no, I you still have no have clue. Children. No, you have no idea. You went from being a pro-woman sucker to an anti-woman sucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, 